What is good, everybody? How you feeling, Brian? I'm good. We good. All yeah. right. Um, this is Instagram, and this, as you guys already know, this is Courtside View Podcast. But we're doing a special segment. It's called the Courtside Views Beyond Sports, and we're talking about stuff. Um, not related to sports, and yep. today we are talking about the MCU, Marvel Cinematic Universe, and the question that I have is: the Marvel Cinematic Universe falling off? How do you feel? Absolutely, it is falling wow. off. Okay, you Why? look at like you look at the movies compared to Phase Three, compared to Phase Four, it's like night and day. Mm. The only top tier movie from t- uh, uh, Phase Four so far was Spider Man. Everything else has been mid to end. Hmm, that's interesting. That's very interesting. Well, let's get to it because here's my thing. I think Doctor Strange was pretty solid. I don't think it was top tier though. I mean, it was, was it mid. It was, was it mid. It was an interesting. It was above average. Okay, okay, I give you that. I think Spider Man and Doctor Strange. I say those, those are cl- those, those are clear. Yeah, those are good. I like Shang Chi though. Oh yeah, Shang Chi. I, I wish they would have. St- I, I wish they would have stuck with more like street level stuff and not had getting into all the mythical and all that stuff. Wish they would have st- because like the first half of the movie was amazing. I mm. loved it with all the the fighting, the choreography, Kung and the Fu. fight. With, yeah, that but, like, but then, the fight. Yeah, that stuff was fine. But then they kind of got like a little out of hand. I was like, okay, and then the go. CGI yeah. and stuff was looking a little wonky. But uh, yeah, I think those three movies were they did a good job with, especially yeah. involving sort of. Sort of the Chinese sort of element to it. That's sort of history. I thought that was really well. But um, but yeah, Eternals. Oh Snor- my God, Snooze Snoo- Fest. You know, and then you had um, Black Widow, Dirt. Oh my God, Black Widow. The, the first movie following the pan. You know, everything with them closing down the studios because of the pandemic and everything. That was just a disappointment in itself. That that movie should have came out long before it did so and then you have thor love and thunder which me personally so so i was disappointed yeah people there there's some people that like they love it me personally i don't i was disappointed because gore i was expecting so much from gore and they let me down because if you read the comic, if you looked at some of the comics, you understand just how powerful Gore is. Like, dude went up against three Thors, one from the past, one from the present, one from the future, and he defeated all of them. It took, like, Thor, he, he had, like, um, two, was it Mo, the two hammers, right? He had, like, two hammers and, like, I forgot what cloak he had on. They gave him, like, this super, like, power-up to defeat Gore. That's how much it took. And... In the movie, he he was I couldn't take the man serious <laughs> seriously, <laughs> bro. Like it was so they tried to make it a romantic comedy, a superhero, a superhero film, a romantic comedy. Like what what are we doing? What are we doing? So man, I just like th- Gore would have been so great if Sam Raimi would have been directing it. Just the way that. Sam Raimi did um, Wanda. Like, Wanda, the way that Sam Raimi did Wanda was just amazing. Like, just phenomenal. Like, her character development in that movie was... You could say whatever you want about the multiverse of madness. Like, sort of the pacing and all the stuff. stuff. Wanda, Elizabeth Olsen, did her thing in that movie. Like, there's no... You can't deny it. And then the visuals, every time they show her, I thought it was great. Um, Some of the things that she did. But Gore, Christian Bale... He I was, think he did a good job. He did a good job, man. But it was like, it's like, ah, let me think of is that. It's like a NBA player, a star it's NBA like, player on like, a bad team. It's like when the, that title, <laughs> Chris Paul hits a big three to cut the lead down to thirty-seven. That's what it was. That's what it was. Because he was buying, he was buying his, his um, dolo, bro. He did a great job. But Gore, they just fumbled the bag. I think the problem with the MCU is the villains. I think that's what the major problem is because I can count the number of villains that were good in the MCU like in one finger, one hand. And that is Killmonger, um, Thanos, and Loki, and Wanda. Everybody else, pretty mid. Yeah. You can't really name anybody else besides those four. And I think... Do the Spider-Man villains count? Because mm-hmm. Green Goblin... 
Nah, he dropped that's, a triple that's, double. that's a Sam. Oh, yeah, he did drop a triple double. He dropped a LeBron triple double. But that's Sam Raimi. I'm not mm-hmm. counting that because they, they're already established. You didn't really have to do much work with that one. So, yeah, Marvel, they, they fumbled the bag, man. But I do think that it's overblown. Like, all this hate. People are just hating on the MCU recently. Yeah, it, it's become the cool thing to do. Like, people, it's just a trend now. Oh, yeah, hate yeah. on the MCU. But Phase 1, it wasn't like yeah, there was Yeah, Phase 1 movies. wasn't all that great either. It's because Iron Man 1 came out, which was phenomenal. Like, what Robert Downey Jr. did, he was he just he did Michael Jordan numbers. That was Michael Jordan. Like, 2000, what was it, 1993, like, dropped 40 every game. That's what he was looking like. But... Captain America was pretty average, pretty mid. Yeah. Uh, Thor was pretty mid. Um, I forgot what what other movies. Thor: came out Dark phase? World was phase that, one, which was that was phase one. Yeah, I, I didn't know that. So. I didn't know. I thought it was phase two, but regardless, that was horrible. That was the worst Marvel movie by far. I can't even remember a single scene scene in that movie. But phase one, besides Iron Man and um the first Avengers movie, every other movie was mid. So, I think. It's it's having the same problem as Phase One. They're sort of trying to establish the yeah. characters, so I think that's why. But that's still no excuse for a bad product. Yeah, I mean, you have good movies. Why not just do use the same form? Use what's been working. And then I think another thing is that they're using too much CGI. Like, why can't we get Winter Soldier vibes? True. Where you go to a you go to a specific place, a specific setting, like you're actually at New York. You're not CGIing everything. You're actually at a street in New York City, which Spider Man they actually went to a street in New York City, but that's pretty much it. Like everything else is pretty much CGI. I think that's the problem. Like, cause if you look at some of the scenes, man, like oh my god, like Multiverse of Madness. Some of the still scenes you just look at, like even with um John Krasinski, I don't even think um um Elizabeth Olsen, I don't even think she ever like interacted with John Krasinski and some of the uh Illuminati characters. So it was just very strange, no pun intended. It was just very <laughs> strange, you know. So they need to like get back to just going to the actual place instead of just putting a green screen behind them, having all this equipment on them. Like, actually wear the costume <laughs> instead of CGIing everything because it just looks funny to me. It looks weird. So, And then get the villains right. Please. Please. Like, Please stop nerfing the villains. Stop nerfing the villains, bro. It's looking like a shonen. It's looking like a shonen anime, the, the, the way the villains are looking like right now. Like, it's looking horrible. But yeah, they need to get that together because the Batman, as I know it was long, but you can't deny the villain what was it the uh, uh, the Riddler body. A lot of shit. people don't like the Riddler. I don't know why. They say he's like some type of redditor or something. Redditor, like a Reddit incel or something. I'm like, oh brother, nah, do they just... not know who the Riddler is? That's the problem. People don't know the source. But people think the Riddler is this goofy dude in a top hat. This dude, that dude is literally mentally unstable. They they need to read a uh, Batman the Hush. And they were saying that it was cringe women when, when that scene when the Riddler was in the jail. It's like, he was no, like, yeah, but no. like, there's, I, there's literally that a was clip. Great. It was literally a clip of the animated show, and the Riddler was doing like the same thing. I was actually great. He was when I saw him do that. I was like, "Wow!" Exactly. He's, he's like acting as they think. Though. Why do they think someone that's mentally all the way there is going to do this stuff the Riddler does? Like people don't think they no. don't. They just. That's why I don't like talking the comic book movies with casuals. See, because I look at the Batman and I'm like, "That's a great." Well, I'm gonna say a good. That movie. is a good Batman. People, go, oh, Batman's dumb, and but then did they establish in the movie was like his what second year, third second or third year doing being Batman. I'm like, obviously he's not gonna have everything figured out. And it's like, the and that's tone. why that's why that criticism never made sense to me with the Spider Man movies, the MCU Spider Man movies. He like he's he's a high schooler. Of course he's gonna trust an adult with these power and a former former Stark employee with them glasses. Speaking of Marvel again. There's like sort of this hate toward. I don't know if you see Miss Marvel, but like people, some people have been hating on Miss Marvel. I, I heard a lot of people say that was the best show they put out. Yeah, but then there's like other people that are like, oh, it's boring and all this other stuff. But here's the thing: 
if you like Spider-Man Homecoming, you're going to like Miss Marvel because it's pretty much sort of the same tone. Like, they're both in high school. Uh, they're trying to figure it out. It's their origin story. And I think the writing was just great. Like, people trying to bash it because um, they say, oh, there's nothing going on. That is a lie. That is absolutely a lie. There's a lot going on. And they did a great job at um, just writing um, Kamala Khan's character. Like, her character arc is just one of the best. Like, I put that put Miss Marvel top three and some people think that oh it's not it's one of the worst you didn't clearly watch it and it's probably not for you because it's a teenage girl in high school it's clearly not for your sort of demographic clearly not but for me personally I enjoy I wasn't expecting that much there was already hate I think it's because there was hate coming in it was a lot of people sort of skeptical of it going in. So they were just going to, they already had their mindset that they weren't going to enjoy it. And I just think that, again, the hate is forced. Just watch the movies, stop being biased, and appreciate some things. Because when there's certain things that are actually done well, people want to hate on it regardless. So, like Sam Raimi doing something different, like actually. Um, making Wanda's character not the you know the the whole classic uh, MCU villain, trying to be something different, but people want to hate on it. People want to hate on certain elements, so it's just forced. I just hope that, like the Batman, I don't know if the MCU can pull something like that off, because what Matt yeah, Reeves did was uh, amazing. Like I just want them to just stop with all the CGI and actually go to those places and actually wear the costumes practical effects and all mm -hmm. of that 